Hello, um, I've been doing a lot of uh, laser work lately, so um, I thought I would introduce a few new things to you, if I can. Um, the first is, transceivers are great. You can get stuff covering a whole ship very, very quickly without having to worry, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean very, very shortly. Okay, so I'm just going to literally build a tower up here, in wood, just, this is all for demo purposes, so. Lasers. Right, we have the multi-purpose laser and a connector. So I'm going to stick a connector on the back of this, like so, with a piece over the edge so we can go down like that. You'll understand this in a moment. And then on top of here I'm going to place our multi-purpose laser. Now, from here we normally stick uh, some laser combiner bits in, um, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same thing as usual. I'm going to get a laser combiner, but I'm not going to stick one on there. I'm not going to stick two on there, or three, or four. I'm going to stick five on there. Okay, so, interestingly, all five of them are usable. All five of them will fire. All five of them will use a hell of a lot more power. <laughs> okay, so, let's put a bit of optics on them so that we have something that we can look at. Six of those, followed by six of those. Okay. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. Six of those. Oh, something's happening. Okay, so I had a bit of a freeze up there. Um, this happens to my system sometimes. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, note, all six of these are coming off of the same multi-purpose laser block. <coughs> okay, so next. Well, we're going to use transceivers, so this is the this is where the fun starts. Okay, so you've noticed that I've put this over the edge here, and I put one down the bottom. Look, they're connected. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what can we do? Well, I'm going to be using the surface of this ship mostly because it makes it a lot easier to demonstrate than trying to build it through the ship. So as long as you've got a corridor of at least one gap, you know, literally a gap of one. This should be possible throughout an entire boat. So let's take a transceiver on here and then all the way back over there. Oh, we can just turn it like that, do that. There we go, look! We've connected it across the boat! And now this is connected to that laser. Cool, eh? Right, which means. Which means what? Well, it means that we can stick stuff on it here. So I'm going to. Um, demonstrate a couple more features here. So I'm going to stick this on there like that, like this, so you can get an idea that you know you don't have to just have one bit. Couplers, so... Okay, some of those. Right, I'm going to do... Um, uh, where is it? Cavities, we can do it. right, okay. I'm going to get a whole bunch So as you can see I'm mirroring it too. Okay, so that's 6 by 5 is 30, so that's 60 effectively. 60 AP I've just added to this thing. Um, now, because the coupler is multi-directional, uh, we don't actually need to build stuff in different places if we don't want, we can just do this. Okay, but bear in mind that you could literally just copy this bit, this L shape, into another section of the ship and just add another transceiver to connect it. You know, L there and L a bit further up, L a bit further up, and then you can just have multiple transceivers. So as long as the transceivers still connect, it doesn't matter where you put them. 
OK, so that's one part of the fun explained. Um, let's make these actually do something than just look pretty. Can hear the uh, the motors there revving up, not liking this at all. Come through here, turn it round. Uh, yes, you can borrow this design. No, I'm not going to charge any money for it. Uh, yes, it will work. No, I have no idea how powerful or not powerful it could be against whatever it is you're going up against. That's answers to questions before anyone asks. Okay, so, top of that one, and top of that one. So we've now got a bit of storage capacity too, which basically means that lasers are super powerful. Okay, so we've made a really powerful laser. Now, this is the next part that I'm going to go into. Someone comes along and they shoot out your main laser line. Oh dear, what do you do? Well, backups, of course, backups. Backups, my dear Watson. So you could have laser lines like this. Uh, one there and one there. Yeah, let's do a count. One, two, three, four. So it's the fourth one across. Ah, uh, slow. Travelling in this mode. All right. One, two, three, four. Try that one. Borrow the transceiver. There we go. Connected. So now all we do is connect back up to here, like so. And we have a circle built. So the circle is basically redundancy. So. Someone shoots on this side of the boat, they take this out. Okay, fine. Damage done, <coughs> not an issue. You've still got half the boat working, and because of the back here, it actually still connects it via proxy to another one. Basically, you can stick these laser lines everywhere. Now, the next thing I'm going to try, I haven't tried this properly yet. Look, the laser line still works. Okay, let's break it and fit. Oh, look, it still works. Wow. <coughs> okay, so basically, you can block your line of la laser sights between each transceiver as long as they're in a line it doesn't matter whether they're blocked or not which means you can effectively armor these things to the teeth to be protected wow isn't that fun okay all right okay well let, let's 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 go into it a little bit a little bit differently now um well firstly let's find out what we've got so our multi-purpose laser thing here can apparently do 220 continuous damage with 61 armor piercing. Okay, based on ba bear in mind that that's each weapon uh, that's in um, each weapon can do that. All right, let's get my bloke into the driving seat. Okay, so we now have control of said lasers. They've got uh, 37 and a half azimuth, that's enough for me to test. So, what happens when I fire? That one fires. Come around here. That one fires. Oh, I'll come around here. That one fires. Okay. So, what if we've got multiple targets all around the boat? Do you think they'd fire at them? Let's find out, shall we? Uh, load. Okay, so we're going to load a couple of uh, little repairing boats I made. Um, they've got AI built into them. Um, what are they called? Rep R R R R S S R. Rep minor. There it is. Okay, so load. Let's get rid of that. Listening. Not what I wanted at all. Escalade. Onyx guard. Watch. Whatever they're called. Spawned. Off. off. That was close. Right, okay, so we've got one there. Load vehicle. Turning, turning, off. turning off. Okay, that's off. I swear they get turned back on whenever you change. Okay, let's do one here. Turning, 
turning off. Okay, they're all off. All right. Okay, so we currently don't have any AI on this thing, so I'm going to add some AI to it now. <laughs> Try. Um, all right. So let's get me a an AI connector there and a wireless receiver. And a local weapon controller, LWC, where are you? There you are. Actually, let's put the LWC there. Controls one weapon, that's good. Uh, I've got to get, I've got to work out how they work. I'll come back to that another time. Anyway, right, so, um, next, uh, receiver, again. Okay, now we need a mainframe. Alright, okay, let's build the mainframe here. It doesn't really matter, does it? Mainframe there, uh, connector, two, three, wireless transmitter on there like that. Okay, alright. So let's turn the transmitter off, just for a minute. So we saw one laser start firing. <sighs> can't hit for, well, anything, as you can quite clearly see. Um, okay, so the reason behind that is because we actually haven't got any detection on this thing, which is what I was trying to build, but it decided, I'm going to fire at you! Ha ha ha! Alright, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, that's enough of them. Let's take a card and a slot on the top, like that, and we're going to use target prioritization. Yes, you do need that. And aim point selection, yes you do need that. They look alright? They look alright. Okay, cool. So um next. Well we're gonna need some kind of detectors here. So let's build off of approximately the centre of the boat, which is there. Okay, and that can detect at this height roughly, so let's go AI, detection equipment, uh, coincidence rangefinder, let's get the, actually let's not, let's not use that for a minute, um, back out of that, there, connector, nope, don't want that there, I want that there, alright, okay, so let's get a few detection of equipment things in, so we want radar, 360 degree, that's fine. See, so we want to try and get a night 360 camera as well. On that side, on that side. Lighter side, downwards and backwards. Well, that's kind of obvious. Okay. Let's stick a couple of rangefinders on, right? Okay. Like that. Oh, hang on. There we go, one there, one there. Rangefinder, 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 where are you? One there, and. <sighs> Of course, I'm an idiot. Is that the right way? That's the right way, yep. That's better! I actually do it properly now. Right, okay, so next we need to stick a... Mainframe, no. Connector, no. Where is it? Transmitter, receiver, that's the one. Receiver on here, like so. Let's take another one this side. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We've got plenty of detection stuff now. That should, in theory, work. So let's put this back onto channel 1 and see what happens. Channel 1 is now on. And we're firing. Right, we've killed the AI at front. I have not tried out multi-directional lasers with AI before. And for some reason, it wants to destroy my own boat. Oh, that's gone now. 
Alright. Okay, that's fine. So now we've got the two side ones. Well, I can tell the detection's not working this side because it's been blown to smithereens, but this side should. So we've got a tra tracking a target. So, is it too close? Is it under its range? It shouldn't be. Stick another one on there to give it a bit more. Stick another one on there. Okay, so, this primary success here, uh, this success story, rather, uh, is proving that yes, you can fire with multiple lasers. No, the AI does not know how to use them. However, I will bring this back up here a bit so it's a bit closer. Not of these weapons can aim at current targets of the AI mainframe. Okay. So, what happens if we put the local weapon controller there? That there attached to it. And that there attached to that. There's no controlling one weapon properly. None can aim at the AI mainframes. Interesting. Can't shoot out the sides. Okay, so this proves that AI will only use one part of a five laser dire uh, directional system. However, as yourself and a single player, or uh, as the player rather, you can fire from all directions. Not, this, not at all at the same time, but you can still do it. I will demonstrate. Uh, let's come off of that just to make sure we have. Alright, okay, so let's fire. There we go. Might not be quite as efficient as an AI doing it, but I'd say it's doing its job quite nicely. And you can see the sort of power of the laser that we provided with just those that little L shape that I've designed. Oh, AI dead. Okay, let's see the other side. Look, we can shoot both sides. It's cool. Okay, so this is um, a 19,000 powered engine. Um, it's quite capable of doing this kind of stuff. It doesn't require that much, to be fair. Take out them at the top. And the AI has gone. Hooray, we killed it. Right. Okay, so. I hope this has been useful. This is more like an advanced laser tutorial than lasers themselves. Um, I hope the uh, transceiver, well, multiple transceivers are used. Um, quite nicely for you. The fact that you know you can now actually block your transceiver transmission, um, that is quite an advantage. Uh, let's summarize a little bit more. So, a local weapon controller can only fire one of the six directions on a uh, multi-purpose laser block. Find evidence to the contrary, I'm more than happy to uh, demonstrate it in another video. Uh, thank you for watching.